Yo, what is going on, Clashers? Welcome back to Beaker's Lab, where today I'm checking in with you guys on my road to Titan League. We made some great progress today. We actually got three good raids. So we're going to sit back, kick back, and enjoy the replays. So here we got number one. And this was not a real big trophy base, but I was totally comfortable hitting it because it's a popular base. I've seen it a million times. I attack it the same way every time. And I know there's no, you know, there's nothing real tricky about it. That's the thing, man. In Champions League, a lot of people have the same base, and you just get used to them. The only uh, bases that I really have problems with are bases I've never seen before. You know, sometimes you attack a base you've never seen, and yeah, you make a mistake. Speaking of mistakes, check that out. I forgot about that single Inferno, and it tore up my king. You know, what are you going to do? I, I just, I forgot that it was a single Inferno, so I used my freeze too early. But whatever. He, he you know, he sacrificed himself for the good of the trophies so he's dead with the arch queen is still very much alive and she is reaching out touching that town hall and she's going to take it no problem we've also got some golems over on the left they're going to easily help us get the 50 percent boom there it is so you know pretty uneventful raid it was for not a lot of trophies let's see what it was seven for the two star yeah unfortunately though that's what i see quite often you know 11 trophies 12 trophies here and there it's the best i can find but then, a great raid comes out of nowhere like this one. Guys, check this out. This guy is in Titan League. So that means he's going to offer at least 30 trophies. If somebody is basically around where you are in trophies, they offer 30 or more. This guy's actually above me. So, he's also got an outside town hall. Oh, man. This is such a pretty sight. When you're searching, you're just seeing one trophy, one trophy, one trophy. And then, like, 33 pops up, and the dude has an outside town hall. It's like... <laughs> so we're going to take the town hall with one wizard and then we're actually going to go for the two star now i've talked about this in the past i've said hey i kind of think it's best to just take the one star and leave but in a case like this i couldn't find any trophies that day so i am not leaving without that second star so we're going to really spread out the golems here we put uh most of them down already and we put golems way out to the sides with jump spells so we just want to take out percentage. We don't really need to get into the middle of this base. You know, we're going to, but we could have just spread our troops out on the edges and, and probably been fine because we already got that town hall. So there you'll see I'm kind of experimenting with the haste spell. It's not a bad spell, but I'm pretty uh, unimpressed with it. Maybe when I level up the haste spell, it'll be more impressive, but especially for ground troops... It just doesn't seem to do it for me. I think it's going to work really well with balloons. I think that's going to be the best, best combo is balloons and, and haste spells. But I just haven't had a chance to, to do that yet. So stay tuned for that soon. I think I'm still going to try to rock a rage spell when I do these pushing raids. So we'll see. I'm always sort of switching up my army composition and my spell composition and even my clan castle composition. So there we go. You'll see I put down a few troops, minions, and wizards. Those are like my cleanup team. I always bring a few minions. They are so clutch. And we easily got the 50% the as well. So another 11 trophies from getting that final star. But then, guys, talk about diamond in the rough. Look at this. I'm not even going to tell you guys how many trophies this was. But you know. You know this was huge trophies. This dude is in Titan 2 League. And I'm in Champion 1. He's leagues above me. That means hundreds and hundreds of trophies above me. And you guys will see at the end. This was this was massive. <laughs> so we're going to play it cool. You know, I was super excited. I, I you know, I, I didn't want to spam everything all real quick and lose and, and squander this opportunity. So I'm taking it real slow. Not funneling in all my whiz at once. Kind of slowly dropping them here. Letting the golems get far ahead. I knew the golems would go off to the sides here. But that's actually okay. They're still tanking really well for us the heroes some of the wizards are going to go into the core and even though they don't have too much shielding they're going to get that town hall there's no doubt about it i mean from from this point here you you know they can get it the only problem is the enemy archer queen i brought some free spells that's helping quite a bit but i wish i had a rage spell at this point it's really really clutch to have a rage spell when you're in the core of a base so I'm kind of trying to work that back into my spell composition. I think I might drop one jump spell for a rage, but we'll see. We'll see. And there it is, the the beloved poison spell. I'm really liking that spell. Most people have a hound nowadays, so you don't use that poison spell on the hound, but you'll have it for the pesky skeleton traps. 
and skeleton traps. A lot of times they prevented me from getting the, the town hall, prevented me from getting the second star. So it's really handy to be able to just kill them. Boom, done. So we got the handy cleanup wizards up top, taking out a couple buildings, no problem. And now we're on the 49%. And there was no way I was leaving without this second star. This second star was, well, you guys will see, but it was worth more than 15 trophies just for this one star. So I'm not leaving without it. There it is, guys. Massive, massive two-star win. And that's going to get us, wait for it, 35 trophies for the two stars. So this was worth over 50 trophies. I think it was 53-ish or something like that. I've been seeing a lot of raids like this just in the past day or two that have had massive trophies. For me and my clanmates, we've seen quite a few. I saw one that was 59 59 trophies that's the most you can get so i'm not sure if that's a glitch if that's supposed to be happening i know it's possible but i don't think it should be happening i would be really really mad if i lost 59 trophies on defense or even 35 that's crazy anyways guys let me know what you're thinking if you've seen any weird trophy offers like that or if you're just stoked to watch these replays let me know guys all right Thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time looks like we're going to be in titan league soon wish me luck guys Peace.